What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with a Patreon request. This time we're checking out something different from Pentatonix. We're looking at the introduction of Matt. Now, I believe, obviously, this was when he first made his debut on the team, or maybe this came after a song they performed or before. I don't know, but we're about to learn a little bit more about Matt here. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Hey, I'm Matt Slee. I'm 24, and I am the newest member of Pentatonix. Well, I went to Berkeley College of Music, and I studied vocal performance there. Number one school was Elon University, and I didn't get in, and I was like heartbroken. And oh. I got this like brochure from Berkeley, and it was like, you should apply to Berkeley. I was like, okay. And so I applied, and then I went, I got in, and I visited the school, and it was like, wow, this is the place that was meant for me. It's good to have that community of people from from Boston to LA. As soon as I got to Berkeley, I heard about Pitch Stop. I was like, oh, I gotta audition. Like, I gotta go and audition. I went and I got in, and which was really cool because I got in my first semester. I actually auditioned with Christine. So we were all like in this little callback audition group with me, Matt, Jared, and our other friend, Danielle. And we all ended up like in the same group, and then we ended up becoming close friends later. So it feels like family. Like, that's just what it is. Oh, Man, I, I, I know what that feeling is. When you just find a group of people, you know, you meet them for the first time, music just has this amazing ability to just connect connect you with other souls uh, for a lifetime, honestly. And it's crazy how easy it is. You All you gotta do is just play one song together and it could be the crappiest of songs you can sing together, but it's just that bond that's formed. It's amazing. In the same group and then we ended up becoming close friends later. It feels like family, like that's just what it is. Oh, I'm just a Audio's kinda yeah, everywhere. <laughs> I'm just so glad. I did a cappella in high school. We went to a competition in Virginia called Sing Strong. And it was like the first, I think it was the first year the competition happened. Hmm. So I spent time performing in the front row. Mitch, actually, I had sunglasses. And <laughs> this is like a memorable moment. Mitch took my glasses and he like wore them on stage. My oh. friends were like, oh, you need to like frame it. You know, like take it. Like I remember from that day forward, I wanted to do a cappella for the rest of my life. Oh, so d they knew Matt. They knew Matt for a while before he came on the up on the scene. He wasn't just some random dude. I'm pretty sure one of you guys told me that down in the comments. <laughs> and I know people say that and you know whatever, but I knew that I was going to do it. Cause I wish you the best of all this world. Matt is such a joyous human. I love that so much about him because I think he brings a life and an energy that is so beautiful to this family. Because I, I think Pentatonix, we want to exude energy and joy to all of our fans. And boy, and do he you. he fits right in when it comes to that. It was amazing having Matt come into the group because he is so smooth. His voice is so smooth. He's so talented and he's so amazing. And he's such a hard worker. Any arrangement that we ever had where he didn't know it, he was like, I got it, I'll learn it tomorrow, I got this. He works so incredibly hard, harder than I've ever worked in my life. <laughs> he is always so on it. Whenever we have like a dress rehearsal, he knows all the choreo before we even have to ask him. And when like someone does those type of things, it just makes everything so easy. So we kind of fell in love with him quickly. I, I bet it does whenever you're, that, that, that's actually pretty amazing because you always kind of have that thought in the back of your head when you're when you're introducing new members. And and the funny thing about it is that even if you do, even if you've known this person for like the longest time, sometimes you know that you know your friends don't don't always mean that just because they're your friends doesn't mean that they're going to be a perfect fit for the business. You know what I mean? So for him to 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 work that hard coming into a group of people who's been performing with each other for like the longest and basically fitting in like the missing part of a piece of puzzle, I bet you that was welcomed. And then that plus him being the nicest person ever, it was just like a jackpot. Okay. It was easy. I'm gonna make it up. What about the One of the things I think that 
makes Matt so special is that he's a true extrovert. And I really love that about him because I think he's able to bring people out of their comfort zone, which I really love, even me, because sometimes I can be introverted and he's like, no man, like you can go out there, you can have fun. Matt is incredibly charismatic. Sometimes he'll like be like pumping up the crowd and I'll be like, oh, I wish I was charismatic as Matt. He's just so much fun. He's such a joy to watch on stage. He's an incredible dancer. He also really likes candy. He likes Reese's a lot. Oh, he has candy on his rider, so in his dressing room at every show, he always has a bunch of candy. <laughs> he can rap. <laughs> Matt can rap. <laughs> Seriously. I feel like he doesn't know any words to song. <laughs> like, at all. Maybe because he's been singing bass for so long. I don't see how words. Performs. He goes out on stage and he dances and he smiles and he kills it. And not only does he tune so well and sing so well in his solo and bass range, but he also is like giving you Beyonce sometimes with the way he's dancing. It's so much fun. For me, Matt is hilarious. And he catches all my things that I don't want people to see. Like when I'm being secretly undercover shady, he catches me. <laughs> I play a little bit of piano, a little bit of drums. Bit. Music's been around me my whole life. And when people say they've been singing since they remember, like I've been singing since I remember. I'm pretty sure my crying was like singing. My dad's a music pastor, and so- Came out the womb singing. I've always grown up like singing, like next to him, like he plays the organ and piano. He would always bring me up as a little kid. My mom's very musical as well. Yeah, see, see, you'll, you'll find that. You you actually would find that. And here's the interesting thing. Um, for, so I, I, I knew it. Like you can tell when somebody has been brought up in church, uh, when you hear the way that they sing, because they just have so much soul in their voice. Um, and everything. Um, but it just goes to show you that I had this, this theory, or it's probably not even a theory. It might be a fact that most bass singers were in Christian groups. Isn't that interesting? Like whenever you sit here and you think about a legendary bass singer, I bet you they were part of a Christian singing group. Now, why is that? Huh? Why is that where, I mean, okay, let's, let's not forget about the Motown days, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When the, when the radio started being able to register lower vocals and it made room for the bass singers to kind of come in there and start singing and throwing down, then yes, bass singers pretty much, you know, had a place there. Um, before that radios couldn't necessarily get a whole lot of low frequency. So things had to be uh, sung in a higher pitch. You know what I mean? Um, but since then, yeah, I feel like most legendary bass singers are Christians or not even Christian, just singing in a, a religious group, if you will, or they've been brought up from church heavily. Why, why is that? That's just so interesting to me. Like next to him, like he plays the organ and piano. He would always bring me up as a little kid. My mom's very musical as well. She plays the clarinet. She also sings. It is very joint where I get my huh. <laughs> So if I had to describe myself in five songs, starting number one would be Burning Up by the Jonas Brothers. What the Jonas Brothers don't know is that we had like a four person thing. They just didn't know I was a member of the group yet. Shake Your Body Down to the Ground, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. That's like the story of my life. Like I just, I, if I hear music, I'm dancing. Jesus, We Love You by Bethel. We are family, dream girl. Yes. Because my family is everything to me. Yes. I love my family. Life is a highway for sure because Life is, wow, life has been so crazy for me. And it has been, it continues to be. It's just so wonderful and so lovely to have such an amazing, kind, excited energy in this group because we do work so hard and we do work so often. And so you want a positive and lovely and energetic Force next to you and hold on a little side thought kirsten's makeup is always on point and flawless you want a positive and sorry lovely and energetic force next to you and, and and matt embodies that he's just so grateful i feel like just like all our pentatonics fans he has these big dreams and he has so many things he's aspiring to do and being in pentatonics was one of those dreams and so he's like literal living proof that dreams come true which is super powerful all the time Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Huh? I know there's more. Oh, quick questions. Okay, here we go. 
favorite movie? Inception slash Black Panther slash Greatest Showman. <laughs> you know what? I actually don't really care much for the movie Inception. It was a great movie, don't get me wrong. But what I do care about is the soundtrack. Hans Zimmer was straight on crack with that. So good. Favorite actress. Uh, right now, probably Michael B. Jordan. Favorite ice cream. Cold Stone, like with like sprinkles of M&Ms. Favorite musical artist. Justin Timberlake. He's great. Oh. Favorite sports team. Baltimore Ravens. Dream car. My All right, let me go ahead and end the reaction right there. <laughs> it's all right. I forgive you. Go Eagles. Justin Timberlake. He's great. Favorite sports team. Baltimore Ravens. Dream car. Maserati. Favorite mm -hmm. TV show? How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, Slash Hawaii Five-O. I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> That's on <Sonic> song. <laughs> Who's gonna save the world tonight? I love that. I can't sleep. Love is just like. Have I heard that one? It just sits. It's just so great. Cut. Hey. Have I have 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 I have I done a reaction to Who's Gonna? S oh, does that need to be my next reaction? I didn't think I mean their discography is so huge guys I feel like it's gonna take me at least two years to get through all of it but that's that's great it's a never-ending journey and during that time they're gonna keep putting out music so Pistatonics will always have a home for this channel this has been an excellent insight into Matt as a matter of fact now I know most of them have been singing together since they were like kids um but each uh, so so I guess it would be kind of silly to ask if each of them have something like this um because their introduction was pretty much probably what their first song together or whatnot. Um, but I wouldn't mind kind of taking a little side step uh, from the music to kind of focus on more of the individuals and their personalities and their little quirks and stuff like this, because this has been highly infor informational. Um, now I feel like I know much more about Matt. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.